I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and we're back for 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championship action. This PDGA major presented by Prodigy, and our chase card has Sarah Hokum, Vanessa Van Dyke, and Valerie Jenkins, and Rebecca Cox. Video coverage brought to you in part by the PDGA and MVP Disc. It's moving day. We're here for the third round. Will any of our competitors make it to that lead card? Go out and support me via Patreon or the Disc Golf Guy support page. We've got Sarah Holcomb on the tee here at Harmon Hills, 368 feet. You guys will quickly find out why so many people rave about this course. And throwing second is Vanessa Van Dyke in your 2014 PDGA Amateur World Champion. And the crowd appears to be a little rowdy here on hole one. Rebecca Cox, who plays for Team Discraft. We have, in fact, three different manufacturers represented here. Prodigy with Vanessa Discraft for both Val and Rebecca and Legacy by Sarah Hokum. Val said she waited on the tee because there was a distraction on the left side. She still put it over there. Rebecca will be first to approach, and you can't get too aggressive with this. There's a drop-off behind the pin. And what? What's this? Val Jenkins with a forehand. Nicely done. That's just a shot not commonly seen by Val. Sarah gives it a really solid run coming off the top of the basket. And Vanessa not drawing any metal. The women played this very course earlier in the day. It was nearly a four hour round for most of the women. There was a lunch break ranging anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour depending on when you got done with the round and they came back out to battle this course again it was no walk in the park here on our second day at the u.s women's disc golf championships looks like pars around Four hundred and forty-two feet for hole two. You've got to hit that gap, and that's about as good of a shot as you could ask for. Sarah Holcomb, of course, with the forehand. There is very little wind to speak of, and Vanessa's is finding that left side rough. That's the one of two places you absolutely don't want to be. We'll see if Rebecca can fight through that right side. Val keeping it nice and low, maybe a little too low, but she sent her fairway, and that's what's important. Vanessa's able to throw out to the fairway. And Rebecca up and over the hill, that's going to give her a look at a putt from there. And Val looks like she might have gotten the nose up just a bit much on that. Maybe a little too conscious of turning it over into the right side rough. This is Vanessa's third throw. She goes with a standstill. Looks to have a similar result to uh, what we just saw from Val. And just standing still with a nice little stretched out forehand. A perfectly executed shot there by Sarah Holcomb. Val short on her birdie attempt. Uh-oh. Here comes the tree creeper cam. Looks like it's going to work out for Vanessa. Oh, short missed opportunity there by Rebecca. She's going to take the par four. Val will... Tap in. She's going to take a par. 
An easy cleanup here for the birdie by Hokum. Hokum retains the honors on the tee with the lone birdie thus far during the round. And at 485 feet, you need to throw it straight through that gap. That is a great start for Vanessa. Hokum also getting hers to bend over very nicely on the turnover. Great looking shot by Rebecca Cox. And Val still low, but this time it's gonna crest over the top of the hill. Sarah will be approaching first. She catches a little late wood. What? Another forehand by Valerie Jenkins? That's two forehands in three holes, folks. We need a forehand tracker here. Some kind of counter on Val. I don't think I've seen her throw two forehands in the last 10 years. And with the basket perched on this very, very steep green, you got to be careful. Sarah's got to be happy that at least sat down for her. Val's got a good look at birdie here. And the putter is just a bit off today. I would typically count that in for Val from that distance. That's a birdie for Vanessa Van Dyken though. Sometimes the short ones ugh, can be the most challenging. And everyone else will tap in for the pars. So just two birdies in the first 12 opportunities. That puts Vanessa on the tee here. Another par four, this one measuring in at 482 feet. That was a great drive by Vanessa. And Sarah Holcomb with a beautiful bend. Great turnover that just faded the whole way with her forehand. So again, if we're keeping track at home, we've got Val Jenkins with two forehands. The real question will be then, how many backhands will we see out of Sarah Hokum? And another solid drive. Looks like all four women easily navigating through the gap. Now you have to go to the protected green uphill. Rebecca making it look easy. And that's going to be left side. She'll have a putt from there. Not too bad. Val catching a little bit of low-hanging branch there. She's still going to have a good look at a putt from there. And Hokum again will have a standstill. And everybody yells out dot, which is a fun game to play. Birdie. Val Jenkins, first one of the round for her. Vanessa, uh, just on that left side, not enough chain. I've noticed that if Vanessa does miss a putt, low and left side seems to be her spot. Not sure what that's related to. Got a couple more birdies though. We're moving on to five.
again want to thank MVP for their support here of the U.S. Women's Championship coverage brought to you by the PDGA as well as MVP and Axiom Dis. This downhill turnover shot for a righty backhand thrower <laughs> seems to work out for Rebecca. She's going to be looking at pin high. 295 and Val splits the uprights and gets forward progress. Not something you could probably get away with a second time. And just going to the, we'll say conventional route outside to the left of the trees for Vanessa. Val gives it a great bid. Sir Hokum launching. Just like hole one, off the top of the basket. We'll see if she can get her putter dialed in. Um, Rebecca could use a little bit of that same uh, that same phone number if we're dialing in putters. And as if I jinxed her, that was low left for Van Dyken. Val's going to clean up for the par. It looks like everyone's going to be cleaning up for pars and maybe a little bit of a missed opportunity. 295 downhill. There were some pretty decent drives there. Just a matter of converting on the birdie opportunities. Sarah Hokum taps in. over to the catch area thanks to a suggestion by Mr. Nate Doss and what a great throw there by Sarah Holcomb they're going to be going up to the left side up that pathway as you'll see Rebecca throws right over me again putting herself in pretty good position you're going up into the left this is a very difficult par 5 747 feet throwing down to this first landing zone then you'll have to throw to a secondary landing zone and then hopefully be able to approach to a basket you know approach to a basket as opposed to some other random object maybe that one was a little bit too much of a given and what a great position for Vanessa would have loved a little bit more distance maybe to make her standing uh, a little more level. And Val's thinking the exact same thing. She was in great position there off the tee. So oh, there's a snowflake. And Hokum had the furthest drive in the group And that's a turnover into that dark wooded area. And trust me, when you get in there, you'll see just how great of a shot that was. Vanessa's hyzer's out. Otherwise, that also had a really good looking line to it. As you can see, placement is absolutely critical here. Trying to find these various landing zones. If you're off the rough like this, you're going to have to be fighting through it on that left side. Hokum, who was short, fighting from the right side. Solid bid there by Vanessa. However, it looks like Par is in her future and not too far to the basket here for Rebecca, but oh, makes up for it with a solid putt. And Velt Jenkins left with just that for the birdie. Well played on the 750 foot par five. We're a third of the way through our third round of the U.S. Women's.
We saw Nate and Val deep in conversation. I think they were pondering my question. Who went with DJ Cool as they performed Let Me Clear My Throat? I'll let you guys think about that one. I expected Val to have that answer, and she couldn't come up with it. I was really perplexed, as it looks like Sarah is there, too. This is a turnover that you're seeing here on hole number seven, a very challenging par three at 439 feet and More. not enough turnover. This also parallels the hole before it. Hole six is fairway. And Vanessa looks to get on edge. She may find herself down the hill. And a great looking approach shot there by Rebecca Cox. Yet again, Sarah finds herself in really good position. She's able to just stand there, throw her forehand. And I wasn't quite ready for Vanessa. She was starting to approach and she really had no look at the basket. She threw back out into the fairway and Val would have loved a little bit more power on that. Vanessa's going to approach up to the basket, finding the left and the right side of the fairway. And this is a scary putt here for Jenkins. <laughs> and we'll call that left side pocket, left side corner pocket. Not sure she called it. Vanessa's just ready to be done with hole number seven. Also, light left side corner pocket for Holcomb. You're not going to see a two here out on hole number seven unless you have a miraculous backhand roller, possibly if you're right-handed. We're moving on. Three hundred and thirty-nine feet. Val going with a standstill. I believe that's a meteor. Just trying to get it down the pipe. Hole bends hard to the right. Just to put a little bit of a time stamp on it, it was almost exactly twelve hours ago. These women were playing it versus when I'm given the commentary. It's now four o three a.m. Oh, Vanessa not able to get through cleanly. Holcomb's just got a nice, soft little forehand. And now here on the left side, she's got to worry about the stuff in front of her. It looks like it slows that one down just a bit. She does get out to the middle of the fairway. This is going to play uphill. She still has some work to do, and she stays clean of everything there. And Rebecca relying on a forehand to get out of trouble here. I think our forehand counter for Val still at two. Zero backhands from Hokum. That's just a well-executed shot there by a professional. That is a shot everyone should go out and practice. Stand with your back to the basket and just practice throwing various angles to the basket. Many re would refer to that as a patent pending shot. Been coined by the famous Billy Crump. A little chirp of the birds in the background. Beautiful day out at Harmon Hills. A little bit hot. Certainly muggy. But we're fighting through it. It's a little easier to fight through it when you're looking at throwing in a 10-footer here for birdie, though. Nailed it.
both Hokum and Val staying very clean here on this front nine. No bogeys to speak of. This hole is all every bit a par for 479 feet. I feel like it's even longer than that. And just placing yourself out somewhere on that hillside. Hopefully you can find a flat spot. That'll make the approach shot a lot easier. You don't need to hug it hard to the left. But you also don't want to go dead straight too far either. If you get one out there anywhere between 290 and 350. You're going to be in a good position. Here you see she has a little bit of a run up here, uphill. Looks to be carried wide to the right. Playing to Prodigy Baskets, which you've seen here in the A pool all weekend long. Prodigy, of course, are PDGA major sponsor here of the U.S. Women's. Both the PDGA and MVP, however, supporting the Disc Golf Guys coverage, bringing you the action. Oh, and almost for Rebecca. Rebecca, the recipient of the Ricky Waisaki sponsorship giveaway. And a little too much correction there by Van Dyken as she's off the top band. Jenkins could pick up another birdie here. Good up. Or she could say good up and uh, not draw any metal, unfortunately. We're looking at more than two hours into the round at this point, and they are through just nine holes. A very grueling course. They're getting through pretty clean, but this is in the afternoon. Temperatures near 90 degrees, a little bit of humidity. Again, thanks for joining me here for the front nine. I hope you enjoyed the action. If you got constructive feedback, I'd love to hear it. If you've got lame feedback, just keep it to yourself. It's been fun. We'll see you on the back nine. So we've just finished the front nine here at Harmon Hills for the third round of the Women's Nationals. The second card here is battling through this hot weather. They're doing as good as they can. It's really difficult out here. It's been a long day. But let's see what they can do on the back nine. Let's head there.